Koch Industries stays in Russia, backs groups opposing U.S. sanctions. Here's a summary of the article. As hundreds of major U.S. companies exit Russia over its invasion of Ukraine, Koch Industries is staying put. Wichita, Kansas-based Koch has several business lines in Russia, and is among the nearly 40 companies described as digging in by refusing to curb or stop business in that nation, according to a tally compiled by Yale University professor Jeffrey Sonnenfeld and his research team. Another Koch subsidiary, Molex, offers electronic components through a network of third-party distributors across Russia, while a third, Koch Engineered Solutions, has a sales office in Moscow. Meantime, political groups supported by Charles Koch, the right-wing billionaire who is chairman and CEO of Koch Industries, are making a public case against imposing economic sanctions against Russia, according to popular information. Stand Together, a non-profit founded by Charles Koch, supports targeted sanctions against Russia in response to its immoral invasion of Ukraine. We also believe that sanctions are a legitimate tool of statecraft. However, broad-based economic sanctions rarely achieve their desired policy outcomes, Dan Caldwell, the group's vice president for foreign policy, tweeted on Monday. Another Charles Koch-backed group, Concerned Veterans for America, is also cautioning against sanctions against Russia. Koch Industries did not respond to requests for comment by CBS MoneyWatch. This post received a score of 89,000, with an upvote ratio of 88%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Koch owns Georgia Pacific, which includes Brawny, Dixie, and Northern brands of paper towels, paper cups, plates, and toilet paper. Georgia Pacific makes a ton of paper products for offices and lumber products at Home Depot and Lowe's. Koch also owns Invist, which includes Lycra, Tactel, and Thermalite. If Lowe's, Home Depot, and Big Box Office stores refuse to buy Georgia Pacific products, it would go a long way towards pressuring Koch. As someone who had to deal with Molex in a professional setting, fuck Molex. They. re one of the most incompetent and unprofessional fuckery of a company I. V ever had to deal with in my life. Totally garbage engineering, sales support, everything is just total utter garbage. Every project we do that they re-involved we lose money. Fuck them. As someone who used to purchase connectors for a tier 1 Molex was our highest spend and we re the fucking worst to deal with. Never willing to work on cost reductions, never willing to discuss any potential changes, just a take it or leave it approach and that was from the top down. Fuck the Coke family. I've always wondered, is it pronounced cock? Coke. Like. We did so much fucking coke in the 80s. More than you could very possibly imagine. My gosh, just. Almost too much really? Some political signs in Detroit a couple years back said, Terry Lynn Land has a coke problem? Thought it was funny that either pronunciation seemed to work in that instance. Just found out Koch family and Ken Cordial Griffin of Citadel are essentially in business together. I hope all their businesses fail. It's a big club. And you ain't in it par for the course. Absolutely disgusting people. As we say in Germany, das passt wie Arsch auf Eimer. TL, this fits like ass on bucket. Edit, just had a look at their portfolio. Fertilizer stuck out there. Interesting. Holy crap. I thought this is a check saying. Ich habe jetzt etwas Neues gelernt. I am learning German and am thrilled that I understood you. Ja, und mich auch. Sounds like Coke Industries needs some sanctions. Ukraine should create a list of Western entities that continue to support Russia and actively lobby for Russia in any way, and convince allies across the Western world to sanction them. We need to distribute sheets of stickers that read, This company supports Russia, so that consumers can just stick them on products as they shop. I know it's probably illegal. After 2014 all major retail stores in Ukraine started marking all goods made in Russia with a warning under the price tag. Nothing illegal about it. Eventually those dropped almost to zero. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.